you gotta take chances in life. And after seeing this short stack fembot from a company that I've never heard of, I knew I had to take that chance. Sci Figure Industries' latest release, Nebula, is a figure that caught my attention late last year. And while I'm primarily a first party collector, it's not because I'm a first party snob. I'm just unfamiliar with a lot of the third party market. Now, I've never heard of Sci Figure Industry before, and I wasn't able to find out much about them other than a few of their other transforming toy releases. But I did learn something interesting. Nebula here is actually a licensed figure, the first in what appears to be a collaborative project with the Chinese automobile company Wu Ling, and she turns into the very real Hong Wong Mini EV, currently the best selling electric car in China. And it costs $5,000. You can buy this car for a fraction of what it costs to import an adult woman from East Asia. At first glance, Nebula might seem to be an attempt at an RC alike, mainly due to her soft pink and white color palette, but she really feels like her own gal and doesn't try to ape any specifically Transformers ideas. Her aesthetics are pleasingly modern, sort of smooth and solid, but not without some interesting greebly surface details on her torso. She is super cute too, which definitely distinguishes her from any Hasbro product, having a very chibi-like or moe appearance. They've unapologetically emphasized her femininity without pushing her into an overtly sexual direction in my opinion. Her waist is thin, her thighs are mega thick, and while she has a movie Bumblebee-styled chest, it's punctuated by a tasteful amount of robo-cleavage peeking through. She's a little baddie. But her appearance wouldn't immediately raise awkward questions. Like, I don't have to worry about my mom seeing it and thinking I'm a weirdo or a degenerate or a virgin. The bad part of this design is that it seems as if the priority was to design a cute and cool fembot first and foremost, and thus she commits one of the cardinal sins of transforming robot toys. Pretty much the entirety of the vehicles hanging off of her shoulders and waist. You can even remove all of the kibble and just build the little car separately if you wanted to. Two of the vehicle pieces convert into her weapons, which I'm more than willing to forgive. You kind of peel the top of the car off like an eggshell and fold it down into a sort of shield, and the front bumper combines with this barrel piece to form her minigun. It's a pretty cool and unique weapon as far as transforming robots go. Miniguns are really coming back in a big way this year, aren't they? I think the construction of it is pretty clever too, because it tabs into this opening that's created by the joint when you fold the bumper in half. A lot of the construction on Nebula is really great. She doesn't seem as refined of a product as, say, Nicey, who I only mention because she's my only major frame of reference for third party figures, and not because she's also a robot girl with juicy thick thighs and big ass robot boobies. That's just a coincidence. But everything feels solid and high quality, especially the plastic. The joints are tight and there aren't any gaps in the molded pieces of the figure. The paintwork is top notch too, and I haven't noticed any major blemishes or chips on even the metal parts. She does indeed have some die cast pieces, but the only ones I could identify were in her lower legs and pelvis. The paint matches the plastic perfectly, and the weight of the metal really helps with posing. It anchors her in place and makes standing her feel effortless. Her articulation is very extensive, with lots of double joints, a toe bend, and even an ab crunch. One of the things that concerned me, however, was the recessed hip joints in her massive thighs. I expected them to be hampered severely, but they move perfectly fine, and her legs have a pretty natural range of motion. They are the only ball joints on this figure aside from the head, so they might loosen up at some point, which is my only qualm about them. Her impressive articulation is further supported by her included extra hands. This is my favorite part of the toy. It gave me a rock hard cock. Nebula includes five pairs of hands. It's a rather standard variety of gestures. Each are very crisply detailed and are made of a soft rubbery plastic. I want to emphasize how easy it is to swap these hands. You just pop one off and replace it with another hand of your choice. The simplicity and ease of it makes it such a huge quality of life feature. It's so much fun to pose and then swap the hands and pose again and they provide so much expressiveness to this figure. She has some open gripping hands but be careful of what you put in there. I ended up damaging one of them when I made her hold this little gun that I have, which led me to realize there's technically two separate sets of gripping hands, but one is made to hold the trigger of her minigun and the other is for holding the handle exclusively. This just seems unnecessary and they could have easily replaced one of these with a different type of hand entirely. Another great quality of life feature that I love about the hands is that you can transform her with any of the hands attached. However, that's just about the only thing that's good about her transformation. As I mentioned before, Nebula shell forms, and in theory it's simple, but it's actually really annoying. The shoulder pieces rub up against each other. Tabbing the side doors into the rear and simultaneously pegging them onto the arms is all kinds of clunky. And when you put the roof on, it completely refuses to comfortably tab in place. The transformation feels somewhat unpolished and unsophisticated because of this. Once again, Nebula's vehicle mode is the Wu Ling Hong Wong Mini EV, and she even has all the little badges and labels printed on her to prove it. She comes off a lot more as an RC alike in this mode, being a little pink and white compact car. But they have shown off Nebula in a few as of now unreleased colors. They should make an all white one. You guys know how much I love it.
Lane. There's some great detailing on this vehicle mode, like the wipers, the rear view mirrors, and the headlights and taillights are both clear plastic. As with the robot mode, the paintwork is impeccable too. This mode definitely seems intended to be a proper scale model of the vehicle, and I think it mostly succeeded. While the exterior looks good, and I think the panel lining is kept to a minimum overall, some of the pieces don't quite fit together properly, leaving small gaps in between them. It's not especially egregious, but it does project a rather amateurish quality onto the vehicle mode that I wouldn't apply to the robot mode. Another small problem I have is the clear windows. There isn't any kind of interior to speak of, so looking through them just reveals a folded mass of robot body parts. You could even see your head partially poking out from behind. I think tinted windows would have been better served here, to somewhat conceal the cluttered insides. Yeah, I want to clutter up her insides too. Sci Figure Industries Nebula is a welcome surprise. She looks great, she's fun to mess around with, and she's you would be blessed to have a woman like this in your life. As a girlfriend, as a sister. I know she's not perfect, and I know the only thing a Transformers fan hates more than fake parts is a shell-forming fembot, but I like this toy a lot, and if you give her a chance, I think you will too. But anyway, that's just my opinions. Please leave yours in the comments below. Bye-bye.